So what is up guys? It is Nishro here and today we got another set from uh, Legendary Duelist dissecting another set from Legendary Duelist and this time we are talking about Cyberdarks. So previously I did mention Red Eyes and how they are basing themselves on equips and so now we do have an uh, entire archetype based on equipping dragon monsters so um, you can actually run Red Eyes Baby Dragon in a deck that isn't um, Red Eyes, just because it searches level 1 dragon monsters, and the Cyberdarks are kind of entirely based on equipping dragons from Grave, or level 3 dragons specifically. So ba Red Eyes Baby Dragon would actually work perfectly in a deck like Cyberdarks. But um, something else to note is that Cyberdarks, uh, like the two new Cyberdark uh, main deck monsters in this deck, are both dragons that both discard themselves to activate their effects. And so... Um, it synergizes real well with the original Cyberdarks just because um, they are all machines and they equip dragons from the graveyard. And so uh, what would happen is that uh, usually you would have to mix them with some other weird archetype or like uh, something else that may not have in worked entirely. Um, you know, like when we got uh, Dragoon Knees, that was something that worked a little better but still wasn't the best option just because... The only real good one was like Flanix, and the rest of them were just like okay. And uh, still, Cyber Drag, uh, Cyber Darks. I was just by Cyber Cyber Dragon. Cyber Darks are still something that I think are a real decent archetype, and uh, with this new support, definitely have a small bit of potential moving forward. But still, do have a lot of problems. Let's just uh, get into the first one, Cyber Dark Cannon. So if it's sent to the graveyard while equipped to a monster you get to draw a card. So um, I think you could use this in Dragoondies as well um, as Cyberdarks, because Dragoondies equip level three or lower dragon type monsters to them. Or is it level three and lower uh, Dragoondi monsters? Let's check. You hear me typing here? And uh, let's look at ducks. Oh no, it has to be a uh, level three or lower Dragoondi. The, the, the dream is dead. But uh, the big level 8 one, uh, Arma Levi Leviathan, I don't know. Um, he gets to equip any dragon type monster from Grave when he's uh, special summoned. So, normal or specialed. So, I guess that kind of works with Cyberdarks. But, yeah, for, forget that I said that. Alright. So, Cyberdark uh, Cannon, his uh, first effect. Is that uh, well? These these next two effects you can only use each once per turn, so you can discard this card and add one machine Cyberdark monster from your deck to your hand. So he drops himself, he places himself in grave and searches one of your machine Cyberdarks, which when normal summoned they would equip Cannon back from grave and gain his attack. That's actually pretty amazing, just due to the fact that um, although they only have like a 800 attack each. Um, equipping with a 1600 hitter would bring them all the way up to 2400 on a normal summon. And uh, second off for Cyber Dragon, for Cyber Dark Cannon, I keep saying Cyber Dragon. Um, during damage calculation, if a monster equipped with this card battles, you can send one monster from your deck to the graveyard. That is going to be relevant for a feature effect, but it does still work well for setting up more Cyber Dark or even just dragons in your graveyard, like Red Eyes Baby Dragon or. Um, uh, Dragon D. Flanix, just so you can make uh, easy synchro summons. It, it really isn't a, a bad uh, effect, you know? Like, this is really an amazing card. I think this card just might single handedly save Cyberdarks. If, if Cyberdarks ever become anything decent, it's gonna be because of Cyberdark Cannon. I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm calling it right now. He searches Cyberdark monsters, he draws cards when he's sent to the grave while equipped to a monster, and. Um, he um, sets up monsters in the graveyard. So next we have Cyberdark Claw, which is the other dragon counterpart for Cyberdarks in Legendary Duelist. If this card is sent to the graveyard while equipped to a monster, you can target one Cyberdark monster in the graveyard, add it to your hand. So in case you have some dead Cyberdarks in your grave and you, know, you just want to bring one of them back, Cyberdark Claw is the way to go. Uh, but only when he's sent to the grave, you know what I'm saying? You can discard the card, add one Cyberdark Spell or Trap card from your deck to your hand. 
So there's only two Cyberdark Spawn Trap cards. One that we got in this set was a Field Spell, which is, you know, it's kind of redundant for it to be a Field Spell since it's searchable by both Claw and, um, you know, Terraforming. Uh, a, a card you can definitely run in this deck is um, Dragon Ravine, but it's like you would also, but for Dragon Ravine to mill dragon monsters you would also have to be like uh dropping cards for that so that might not be something you want to do i don't really go to terraforming route and dragon ravine route uh what i would say is go for a dragon shrine and just play like a hunter dragon like a singular copy of hunter dragon just so you can mill it and then when you mill hunter dragon you can build another one like mill like a flanix or like one of these cyber darks or like a red eyes baby dragon so, you know, it can work out real well. And Claw can also bring back um, itself and uh, Cyberdark Cannon. So, like, when a Sense of Grave Ball is equipped. So, if you ever need to recycle your cannons or your claws, uh, Claw can bring back both. So, he's kind of a semi-floater, kind of. It's pretty cool. So, his last effect is that during damage calculation, if, this card, uh, if, if a monster equipped with this card battles, you can send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard so you get more cyber darks in your graveyard um i don't know if there's any level three dragon fusions let me check is there uh monster i'm I, i'm on dueling buck right now three let's check all of three lower fusions and uh none of them are dragons unfortunately but uh, yeah, you do still get to mill your cyber dark uh, dragon fusion fusion dragon monsters. So uh, I'll tell you why that will be relevant in just a little minute. Let me bring up cyber darks again. I keep putting an S at the end. Of it. I put it. All right. So the field spell that I did mention earlier, its effect. Uh, it's called Cyberdark Inferno, and its effect is that Cyberdark uh, effect monsters that are equipped with an equipped card cannot be destroyed by your opponent's effects, also by your opponent's card effects, and also your opponent cannot target them with card effects. So, um, if you know you summon out one of your level four Cyberdark machines, you equip it with your Cyberdark cannon. All of a sudden, it's twenty four, and with Cyberdark Inferno, it it can't be uh, destroyed by card effects, and your opponent can't target it. So Paleozoic's just just stop <laughs> uh but you know obviously they can still uh, target the spell uh, the cyber dark equipped monster um the ones that are equipped but not the you know like the the cyber dark equipped card but not the ones that are equipped so i guess it's just decent you know just for protecting your front row and not really your back row Next off is that you can target one Cyberdark monster you control, return it to the hand, and then immediately after this effect resolves, you can normally summon one Cyberdark monster. Um, I assume this is once per turn. Uh, nowhere does it say once per turn on this card. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You can only use this effect Cyberdark. I, I was about to say, if it didn't say once per turn, um, that would be pretty busted just cause you would, I don't know if you'd be able to draw off a cannon with that, but if you would have been able to, um, that would have been pretty damn broken. That would have been an endless loop of like drawing. Of course it would be once per turn. Like why wouldn't it be? Okay. So if this card in its owner's control is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, which is pretty unlikely, you can add one polymerization or fusion spell card from your deck to your hand. So, they gave Cyber Darks a fusion. Cyber Darkness Dragon. It requires five Cyber Dark effect monsters. Now, there's multiple ways you can summon out this. Um, the way that I would suggest is uh, Overload Fusion or Future Fusion. Because either of these would either, like, Future Fusion stacks up your grave, Overload Fusion just banishes them from grave. Since this deck does do a lot with, like, using their monsters in the grave or sending monsters to the graveyard. Um, like, Claw sending uh, Cyber Darkness Dragon, like, the original Cyber Dark Dragon to grave. And uh, Cannon milling dragon monsters or even any monster from your graveyard. I do think Overload Fusion might just be a real solid option. But, um... What I feel that they should have done 
is uh, they should have had uh, Cyber Dark Dragon have this effect where it's treated as Cyber Dark Dragon um, just so you can use a Cyber Dark Impact to summon it. Since Cyber Dark Impact would shuffle back the three machine type Cyber Dark monsters from your side of field, hand, or graveyard, and special summon out a uh, Cyber Dark Dragon from your extra deck. And uh, Cyber Dark Impact is a card you can still use just because Cyber Dark Dragon is still a pretty solid card. Um, in just for cyber darks in general, but um, I don't just because you, know, you you know the whole extra deck monster thing, um, it might not be something you would care about too much. But yeah, let's just get into cyber dark dragon's effect. Let's see if he's actually worth summoning here. So if this card special summon, you can equip one dragon or machine type monster from your graveyard to this card. He has two thousand base attack, and he would gain the attack. Uh, uh, equal to the original attack of the monster equipped with this effect. So obviously your cyber darks would have more attack and they would have a way better effect, you know, if they were sent to the graveyard, so you would equip one of your cyber darks to him. But um, cyber dark claw, you can send stuff like a five headed dragon. And then when you actually get to summon out your cyber darkness dragon, like your cyber darkness would be all the way at like 7,000 attack, just cause he would gain like 5,000. Um, I don't know if there's any machine fusions that top 5,000 base attack, but um, if they are, then you know you can go even higher. When your opponent activates a card or effect, you can send a equip card you control to the graveyard, negate the activation if you do destroy that card. Okay. So, um, unfortunately, these cyber darks don't really have an effect that automatically equips them to cyber dark monsters. I think that would have been amazing. Like, uh, if this fuel spell had an effect where uh, once per turn you can equip a cyber dark monster from your hand into a cyber dark monster you control, I think that would have been pretty solid as an effect that would have made this deck a lot more, uh, a lot better. Just because, you know, you'll be able to, uh, like, it'll be easier to, to manage your equips and to, like, uh, ha uh, know which ones you want to have and which ones you don't want to have. Um, this support is real solid, honestly. Uh, it's not anything that, like, the deck would probably have a lot of consistency problems because the one you're gonna, like, the two you're gonna care the most about is, like, Claw and Cannon. And then the three Cyber Darks, they don't do anything, like, the, the machine ones, they don't do anything by themselves. So you're just gonna be hoping that you can draw into Cyber Dark Cannon or Claw. Like, you would be praying to draw into one of these two cards, and unfortunately, there isn't really a way to search them. You can play something like uh, Red Ice Baby Dragon and stuff like Dragon uh, Dragon Shrine and Dragon Ravine to try to mill um, dragons faster, but you know, like that can only do you so much. And um, you know, it, it's something that you might just have to figure out, just because. But I do feel like this is a real, it's it's a real nice casual deck. I, I don't think it's as strong as some of the other archetypes in the set. Maybe not Red Eyes, but. Um, if you can pull off some of this, these combos, I do think it might, just might be a pretty crazy deck to use. So, yeah, uh, that's really all for uh, this this one. Um, the next and last archetype that uh, we're going to talk about here is Roids, just because I know absolutely nothing about Roids, so I saved them for last. Um, hopefully, I can still make a solid video about them, but. Um, this is really all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was Nisho here, giving you guys more, uh, one more Legendary Duelist Dissected video based on, you know, the archetypes in the set. See you guys later.